Hey there, I am back with another deck review and today we're going to look at Bold from Elettra Daganello. Now Elettra is a designer out of Italy. She's done a few other decks before including one of my favorite of her designs, the Pinocchio decks that she did with Passion playing cards. A great deck of cards, one that's worth checking out, but this is her first solo design. She designed these to be released on Kickstarter and they were inspired by her love of very modern aesthetic along with typography. So you'll see a lot of those influences throughout the decks. Now we're gonna be looking at two different versions of it. You have the standard version and the deluxe. Uh, we'll look at both of them in turn, but let's start out with the plainer standard version of the deck. Now it's done on a glossy finish tuck, very similar feel to what you find like with a bicycle uh, deck that you get at retail. No embossing or foiling of any sort. And it's just done on a white tuck with a black and orange design. Very clean, modern look to it. Very thick lines throughout, kind of fitting with that bold name of the deck. You have the vertical stripes and then the negative space that sort of forms a disc in the center that has the name of the deck bold with that orange period at the end. The little drop shadow that you get there gives you a little bit of a 3D feel to it. Gives a little bit of depth to this otherwise very simple tuck case. And then you have the four pips underneath. So I like it. It's a clean design overall and definitely keeping with that modern feel. On the side, you've got bold playing cards. Same thing on the other side. Bottom has your ad copy for Electra as well as USBCC who printed the deck. Top says poker size. And on the back, you get a little bit of a representation of the back design of the car. It's a bit of a sneak peek. We'll look at more of that in a second. Uh, more of those stripes and the little hits of orange for contrast on the inner flap. And then two very simple or red orange dots on the inner flaps. Nothing bridged on the interior of the tuck case. And that completes that very simple and modern tuck case. So like it, I look at a lot of really super ornate and embossed and foiled tuck cases. Kind of nice to have one really clean, simple one out there too. All right, that's the tuck case, but let's look at the cards. And here's the back design. More continuation of that same aesthetic. You have the black, white, and orange design. So it's a white card with just more of those big, bold, thick black lines all the way through. And the overall layout of this is kind of inspired by the rider back cards from USPCC. And you got one of those here. So these bicycle cards have that classic feel to them. And you can see the similarities in the shape, whether it's the bicycle wheel that sort of mimicked here or the two circular designs, top and bottom. So you can see the similarities and the inspiration that was drawn. But in addition to those thick lines all the way through, you'll also see some of the first hints of that typography throughout here. The ring here, for example, is formed by a series of exclamation points, or you have that integral symbol there in the middle of the wheel in the middle. So very uh, cool and artistic way to bring in the typography throughout this. Uh, finishes out with a nice thin white poker border, which in USBCC fashion on my deck, not exactly even. So you can see it's a little bit thinner on the bottom here than it is on the top. That's more of a USBCC thing than uh, Electra, but thought I'd point it out because that's always annoying. Uh, but that is the back design. Uh, you get a pair of jokers as well, and you can see more of that very clean modern style as well. Uh, done in a mixture of that same orange color we've been looking at along with yellow and lots of gold metallic ink in there. You have two identically posed jokers here. One done in orange, yellow, black, and gold, and the other one done in just yellow, black, and gold uh, and white. Uh, but they're both kind of in this cross-legged pose, juggling the letters of the Joker up in the air. Kind of a fun look to them overall with those sort of goofy, serene grins on their face. Like the look of this overall, like the art style quite a bit personally. And you can see, again, in keeping with that, uh, that typography theme, the classic stars that you'll sometimes see in the corner of Jokers now are replaced with asterisks. So there's your two Jokers. Uh, you also get a double backer gaff card. Always a nice have, nice to have. And the uh, mascot, if you will, of the deck, this is Mr. Bold on what I guess you'd consider an ad card. I guess you'd use this as a third joker too. But again, you have Bold at the bottom and then a character here, Mr. Bold, that's himself again made up of sort of typographical symbols. So you can see his mustache made up with the top part of question marks. You can see parentheses in there, 
numbers, like his nose is an upside down seven, for example, but very fun look overall. All right, Ace of Spades, the power ace of the deck, has that same uh, large black stripes and then the negative space creating that spade pit. It's a really cool effect to it overall. I, I love the use of like negative space shapes. I think it's a really clean look overall. Bull playing cards and Electra's name there at the bottom. Uh, and then a fairly classic, easily readable, but modernized feel to the pip and index in the corners. You get that custom pip and a nice clean font on the index. Uh, so that's your ace of spades the other three aces are not as dramatic as the ace of spades but do have a really fun understated feel to them all you get the larger pip in the center of each one of them custom pip on each one of them and then the sim simple typographical symbol underneath love how understated that is you have the semicolon on the diamond exclamation point on the club and the question mark on the heart they'll like those uh, number cards are fairly simple that same clean font on the index in the corner and then slightly custom pips but nothing too special black cards are your classic black and then your traditionally red cards are more of that reddish orange color that we've seen throughout the rest of the deck so pretty simple and very consistent color scheme throughout this so through the hearts real quick and that is your number cards so not bad on those and then you get to the quartz I just like the back design being inspired by bicycle. The quartz themselves are definitely inspired by bicycle, but they're completely redrawn. You get that same color scheme, kind of like what we saw with the Jokers with the yellow, orange, black, and white, along with a heavy hit of gold metallic inks throughout here, primarily forming like the outline of the faces or the weapons. But all of them are in the completely classic poses of the bicycle quartz that you, that you know and love. They're holding the same things, whether they be flowers or swords, they have the same sort of poses to them overall. But I really like how clean this looks. And again, more hits of typography in here. If you look, look closely at their outfits, you'll see just random typography symbols that are kind of thrown in there. Like there's some apostrophes or commas, depending on which way you look at it. Uh, there in the sort of cuff there of the jack. So you'll see those symbols just sort of make an appearance all throughout, but really fun, clean look to these overall. So there's your diamond quartz, and then into your clubs. They're more of the same designs, really like these, and your hearts. So classic feel to them overall, very familiar, but at the same time, completely customized. Now that's the standard version of the deck. Before we talk about handling though, let's take a quick look at the deluxe version of the deck has definitely the same overall aesthetic, but everything has been given a more luxury feel. The deluxe version features a matte textured cardstock, deep black, and now all those, what were simple lines before on the standard version, now are done in embossing and foil. You have two colors of foil, that red orange foil, along with gold foil, and nice deep embossing to give this a really beautiful texture. Really gives it a nice shine to it overall. Definitely lends a certain elegance to the deck. The designs all the way through the, the actual artwork is the same as before, but definitely has a much nicer feel with that foil. So that's the tuck case. It does add this gold posted stamp style seal. It says bold deluxe on the top. Uh, and as you open up, you can see that deep embossing from the backside. So that is the tuck case. Really like what was done to sort of amp that up. And the cards similarly were given a little bit of a luxury treatment. The back design features a little bit more color to it, a little bit more gold. Uh, so now you get lots of that gold metallic all the way through. Does still have the white poker board around the edge, the only bit of the white that's still showing. But that black background, the gold metallic ink, really sort of amps this up from the standard version. Same design overall, just a little bit nicer. And you'll see more of the same as we go through the rest of the deck as well. All the cards have the same basic design, but they're given that extra hit of gold metallic. So now that gold sort of halo around the jokers, gold metallics added to the ace of spades, gold outlines on the number cards, just all sorts of little hits of extra metallic ink throughout the deck. The core cards are all also given a metallic treatment. Now they're given this frame or this background 
uh, of the metallic ink as well, which gives them just that extra hit to them overall. So really nice look to these. Uh, love the extra touches to really distinguish that uh, deluxe version of the deck. Definitely delivered on that promise. Uh, so that is the deck. Those are the cards. Uh, as far as handling, these are kind of on a regular sort of retail feeling stock from USPCC. So they're gonna feel a lot like a bicycle deck, not a super thin or crushed stock, but nice slippery feel from them overall. Very smooth for fanning. So these are gonna handle, like I said, like any deck that you've used before if you've opened up a bicycle deck. Big fan of how they handle. Wish the registration was a little bit better, but overall, I don't think you'll be disappointed with the handling. As far as uses, look, this would be a great deck to break out and use for gameplay if you have modern art fans in your life. Just something a little bit classy, elegant, modern feeling compared to your regular bicycle deck. I think it'd be great for that. Uh, definitely handles well enough and has a design aesthetic. It would look great in cardistry as well. So for me, deck you should break out, deck you should use. Uh, gameplay, magic, cardistry, anything like that. Really gonna be a great deck for that. But that's it. That is the look at Bold from Electra Dag Daganello. I uh, hope you enjoyed this look. Make sure to subscribe for more deck reviews and unboxing if you like what you see here. And I'll see you for the next one.